Can you dig it, sucker? You are listening to the Hall of Fame. Here's Booker T and Brad Gilmore. Can I tell a quick story about that show? Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember we got to the building and the impact representatives were in there uh, in your office, right? The, the people putting the show together. And uh, they're like, okay, so yeah, this is what we're thinking. And they start kind of laying out their vision of the show for the night. And you're like, yeah, we're not doing any of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I literally, I had to do this. I had to put my hand over my mouth to not, to not completely break. And I'm not going to say who was in the room, but these are people who've been around for a minute. Some of them have a legendary status in our industry. Some of them were the were the guys for the company. And you were just like, yeah, we're not doing any of that. <laughs> and you're laughing. I don't know if you remember it, but you're laughing. Because uh, if you don't remember, okay. I do, <laughs> I do remember it vividly. <laughs> No, nah, man, because I needed to be right, man. That's all. Oh, I feel you. I felt you on it. It wasn't anything against anybody <laughs> or anything like that, but sometimes people can think that I'm thinking about myself. You know what I mean? Uh, it should be, you know, connected to me. You know, it's like reality wrestling. I always said it needs to float on its own. I, I can't have, you know, it be called Booker T's reality of wrestling. It's not going to work. You know, it's got to be able to float on its own. And, and my ideas are always about, how these young guys could come up, how we can create something and everybody win at the end of the day. Uh, and, I, and I think it should be more of that, um, especially with, you know, smaller organizations uh, because we're not going to get anywhere, you know, trying to fight against each other. Can you dig it, sucker? You are listening to the Hall of Fame. Here's Booker T and Brad Gilmore. 